to know how to drive. Lucy, please. They got enough traffic problems in Los Angeles already. <laughs> oh, honey, listen. Suppose we're driving across country. We're in the middle of the desert, miles from anywhere. And you get sick. And then Fred gets sick. And Ethel can't drive. And there we are, miles from civilization. It's hot. The sun is pouring down. It's broiling. We're thirsty. Our throats are parched. Water, water. Oh, if I had only learned to drive, I could save us all. Water, water, water. Are you getting my message? No. Well, then why didn't you say so? That hurt my throat. My hair is naturally red. Yeah. Isn't it, Ethel? Uh, look, Lucy, let's not add perjury to our other chart. <laughs> I might have expected something like that from you, pickpocket pearl. <laughs> Come in and let us give you a free analysis. You and I are going down there, Ethel. We are? Oh, I don't think we... Well, honey, any... we can't go wrong with a free analysis. That's right. Do you think they could make a glamour girl out of me? Sure. It says right here, we work miracles. <laughs> Well, I remember when we were married, you wanted to be joined together in matrimony. <laughs> yeah. And as I recall, it was till death do us part. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that event is about to take place right now. Now, Ricky. Once upon a time in the woods lived a peasant. He was a good man with a noble heart. He spent his time in the forest Coring down bujas from the trees. <laughs> wait, 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 oh. wait, wait, just a minute. What is this bujas? Bujas, right in there. That's bows. B O U G H is bow? Right. Bow. Help! <laughs> Honey, what's the matter? Honey, what's going on? Please, what's the matter? Policía. Policía, le habla el señor Rick Ricardo. Mi señora está en un restaurante allá en la calle 29. La señora, el señor Jaime. Sí, sí, no, 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 ya con la... Ethel. Huh? Well, nothing personal, but... I'm sick of the sight of your face. <laughs> well, you should try it from out here looking at yours. That's Ricky. That's Ricky. I don't want him to see this stuff. Help me hide it. Hide it? Yeah. Oh. You can't see this. Aren't you going to tell him you bought all of this? Someday, yes, when we're old and gray, but not now. <laughs> Lucy? Lucy? There's nobody in here but us deadbeats. <laughs> Lucy, you come out here. Lucy! Now, where do you think you're going? Oh, hi, dear. I'm just going down to see Ethel. I'll be back in a couple years. Lucy! <laughs> you come back here. Yes, sir? I want an explanation. Well, sir, the taxes and inflation and the high cost of living, sir, uh, it's hard to know which way the economic pendulum will swing. I'm not going to let a little thing like that stop me, Listen, you, Ethel, you? if Ricky told me not to tell you something, I'm certainly not going to... Good, they're gone. <laughs> what is it? Do you know why that detective got on at Riverside? No, I'm just dying to ask him. Why? He's looking for a big jewel thief from Los Angeles. Really? Yes, and I know who it is. And what's more, he's aboard this train. I found out that if I just stand still and listen, a little voice tells me what to buy. Little voice, eh? Yeah. Hmm. And, uh, and yesterday it said, buy Canadian Allied Petroleum. Petroleum, yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that? Oh, yes, there was. From then on, I took anything that came into my pretty head, even though it didn't say take one. I took a bright new penny. I took a bicycle. I took a little boy. You took a little boy? Yeah. But my mother made me give him back. And then, then you grew up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, and I began picking pockets. <laughs> I picked a pick of pockets. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't. <laughs> she couldn't. Maybe that's why she didn't. <laughs> How dare you say that to me? What did I say? I don't know, but how dare you? Yes, yes, we're all studying different languages so we can act as guides in the different countries. Uh-huh, I'm taking French and Fred's studying German and Ethel's learning how to speak Italian. Ricky, oh, he's learning how to speak English. <laughs> the only way to be real happy is to be satisfied with what you got. Oh? What have I got? <laughs> Me! <laughs> My cup runneth over. Oh, I beg your pardon, madam, but you're in the wrong apartment. <laughs> it's me. Who? Lucy. Lucy? How's the baby? He's fine. Oh, Lucy! You dyed your hair black and cut it all off short. Oh, it looks wonderful. It's a wig. A wig? Oh, what a difference. I honestly didn't know you. Hello? Hello, Lucy. This is Ethel. Are you all right? Yeah, why? Lucy, this is Ethel. Yeah, I know. This is Ethel, your friend, to whom you may turn in a moment of crisis. <laughs> Ethel, have you been drinking? Down every sin that you do during the day, and we'll allow so much time for each sin. Ten minutes for this, fifteen minutes for that. Oh, I'm going to need more than fifteen minutes for that. <laughs> Oh, boy, this is one of your crazy schemes you can leave me out of. Who asked you in? <laughs> well, you always do drag me into your crazy schemes. Well, this is one time I can do without you. <laughs> What's wrong with me all of a sudden? Here's a meal, three meals a day, that's 60, 365 days a year. Three, four, five, two, three, four. We've been married for ten years. Two hundred and nineteen thousand dishes. No kidding? How about that? Come on, Mrs. Mertz. Where are we going? We're going to revolt. We are going in there and demand that our husbands buy us electric dishwashers. I'm with you. Can you ever throw anything but deuces? Ricky? Fred? We're revolting. No more than usual. <laughs> She wants to spend an entire day with you. You know, take pictures and everything right from the time you get up in the morning. Good idea. When does she want to start? Well, how about this morning? <laughs> <laughs> you better wait till tomorrow morning. We'll be more happily married then. I'm economizing. Well, look, honey, that's a very good attitude, but uh, why do you have to cut down on food? There's just no other place to cut down. What about all the money that you spend on clothes and the beauty parlor? Hmm? Why don't you cut them out? Well, all right, if you think you'd like your meal served by an ugly brunette wearing a flower sack. <laughs> I got it all figured out, Ethel. I'm going to stand right up to him. And when he comes in that door, I'm going to say, OK, Ricky, OK? <laughs> what seems to be the trouble between us? <laughs> what are you doing? A moving target is hard to hit. <laughs> Where are you, Lucy? Save me, save me. Who's going to save me? He won't shoot you, it's me he's after. Yes, but to get to you, he's got to go through me. Lucy! Let me go. Ethel, Ethel, you can't do this to me. You're my best friend. I know I'm your best friend. That's why I can't stand to see you riddled with bullets. <laughs> but Ethel! What's new? I can't go on. I give up. Go ahead, shoot. Shoot who? Me. Don't talk silly. Oh, you're getting smart, huh? Guns make noise. The neighbors might hear. But... Ah! Yeah, I gotta think. <laughs> I can't think of a thing. Oh, sure you can. No, I can't. Something's happened to my, my brain. It's all dried up. <laughs> 
Maybe you stayed out in that sun too long this morning. <laughs> oh, please, Ethel, just help. Coffee, dear. Ricky, you want some more coffee? <laughs> Are your eggs all right, dear? <laughs> Are your eggs? How are your eggs, Lucy? Oh, they're just fine, thank you. <laughs> Would you care for some more coffee? Oh, no, thanks. It's just right, thank you. You're a wonderful cook. Oh, do you really think so? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Would you care for sugar in your coffee? Oh, well, thank you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> You are back there, aren't you? <laughs> Lucy? Hi. How's Ricky this morning? He's dying. That's good. I thought it might be something serious. <laughs> Honestly, Ethel, why are men such babies? I wish I could get away with acting like that. You said it. Last week, Fred had a little headache and took to his bed and moaned he might not live through the night. You remember when I broke my ankle last year? He tried to get me out of bed the second morning to fix his breakfast. He said walking would help the bone heal. Lucy! Pardon me, Ethel, I'm wanted in surgery. I'll go scrub up in case you need me. Come on, Lucy. Lucy, you look so beautiful. Will you marry me? Yes. Lucy, where did you get this money? Uh, I saved it out of my allowance. <laughs> no? <laughs> uh. No. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh, Lucy, this is no joke. There's a lot of money here. I want to know where you got it. Uh, Ricky, you said you were late for work. Now, Lucy, I want to know where you got that money. Did you earn it? Did you borrow it? Did you steal it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Which one? Well, it doesn't matter. Any one of them. Now, Lucy. All right. You'll find out sooner or later anyway. I stole it. What? Well, I'm sorry. I saw it and I just couldn't help myself. Now, Lucy, you're not telling me the truth. Yes, I am. Word of honor? Well, what good's a crook's word of honor? <laughs> Look, I haven't got time for jokes right now. But by the time that I come home this afternoon, you better have an explanation. What's the matter, honey? Why aren't you eating? Oh, I'm just waiting for my meat to cool off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too hot, dear. It's just right. Well, they say hot food is bad for the stomach. Who said that? I just did. Didn't you recognize my voice? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you please tell me what you are doing. Chewing. <laughs> I know that, but we have to get to the theater. I read somewhere that you should chew your food 25 times before swallowing. Well, swallow it now and chew it later. I feel left out. I feel like an ugly duckling. Well, that's ridiculous. You're prettier than any of us. And talented, too. Oh, can, can you act? Can I act? What room is my husband in? 423. Thank you. <laughs> See? I cried for mercy. Mercy! 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 And then he said he hated you. Okay. <laughs> Finally, who knows why, he let go. And I lay there. Cowering and whimpering. Please, no, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. He just looked down at me and he laughed. <laughs> and then he kicked me. He was just about to kick me again when the phone rang. Oh, this is even better than I expected. Uh, what started it all? What made him so mad? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't know. No, we were just sitting around talking about the weather, his new show at the club. I told him I was in love with another man, and all of a sudden, for no reason, wait a minute. It's just that nothing new ever happens. Well, I can tell everything Ricky's going to say and do before he does it. Aw, uh, can you? Yeah, wait till he wakes up, you'll see. He'll call, hey, Lucy, is the coffee percolated yet? <laughs> then he'll come into the kitchen half asleep looking like a zombie stagger over to the stove say oh I could have slept all day scratch his leg while he pours some coffee for himself <laughs> kiss the air in my general direction stagger <laughs> off into the bedroom uh -huh. well I'm glad to see you pay this month's bills well, they're not exactly this month's bills. Oh? They're last month's? No, they're not last month's either. You don't mean they're the month before last? <laughs> no, but you're getting warmer. <laughs> what month's bills are you paying now? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun. Hello? Hello, Lucy. Hi, Ethel. What's, it, what's on your mind? Hello, friends. I'm your Vitamita Benjamin girl. Are you tired, run down, listless? Do you poop out at parties? <laughs> Are you unpopular? The answer to all your problems is in this little bottle. Now you pick up the bottle. Oh. A little higher. That's right. The answer to all your problems is in this little bottle. Vitamita Benjamin. Vitamita Benjamin contains vitamins, meat, vegetables, and minerals. Yes, with Vitamita Benjamin, you can spoon your way to health. All you do is take a tablespoonful after every meal. Now you take some. Oh. It's so tasty, too. <laughs> I'm your Vitamita Benjamin girl. Are you tired, run down, listless? Do you poop out at parties? Are you unpopular? The answer to all your problems is in this little bottle. A uh, little bottle. <laughs> uh, Vitamita Benjamin. <laughs> Vitamita Benjamin contains vitamins, meat, vegetables, and minerals. <laughs> Uh, yes, with Vitamita Benjamin, you can spoon your way to help. All you have to do is take a big tablespoonful after every meal. <laughs> it's so tasty, too. Tastes like candy. Honest. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.